Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The Consulate of Western Armenia and Argentina handed over the first citizenship document. A resident of Artsakh was captured by Azerbaijan unit and was killed. Minister of Foreign Affairs. Syria has put the issue of Cilicia on the agenda. Hassan K. Fortress of Western Armenia was reopened for tourism. Criminal or saver? What did the Arabs do in 1950? Armenian and Turkish women against injustice. Zab Belia Science works were published in the USA. There are five internet tools on the Ator Anahtai website that can be used in the Armenian classroom. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. On December 2, 2021, an event was held at the headquarters of the host institution located on the Nigeto Vega Kaba, 4876th Street, a traditional lunch organized by the Armenian Community Union of Aintab. The Consulate of Western Armenia and Argentina invited the entire Armenian community to participate in the ceremony of presenting the first document of citizenship of Western Armenia to Jorge Kachichian by Consul Guillermo Caramanian. On December 3rd, a resident of Charter in the Martin region of Republic of Artsakh, Zaydan Sambatovich Sarkisyan, who was born in 1956, while engaged in cattle breeding, got lost, was captured by Azerbaijani unit and killed. This is reported by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Republic of Artsakh. Such a terrorist and barbaric act is a manifestation of the state-level genocidal and anti-Armenian policy in Azerbaijan, which was carried out at the instruction of the highest authorities of Azerbaijan. One of the evidences of it is the false statement spread by the Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan, which justifies the terrorist act of Azerbaijani military. This behavior of official Baku is a violation of international humanitarian law. This respect for all the agreements reached and is aimed at terrifying the people of Artsakh and forcing them to leave their homeland. Such a policy is also a severe blow to Russian peacekeeping missions. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Republic of Artsakh strongly condemns the terrorist policy of Azerbaijan, calls all the international community to give an adequate assessment to the uncontrolled action of Azerbaijan. This is stated in the statement of the Artsakh Foreign Minister. The Syrian parliament issued a statement on the occasion of the 82nd anniversary of the annexation of the former Alexandretta Sanjak, now occupied Western Armenia Hatay province. The statement notes that Hatay is part of occupied Syrian territories. It was stressed that everything possible will be done so that Hatay does not remain in the hands of the Turks and returns to Syria. As part of Syria, the Sanjak of Alexandretta was in Ottoman Empire in 1918-1915. In November 1918, it was captured by the British and then by the French. In 1920, the Alexandra Sanjak was introduced into Syria, transferred to the Mandate of France. Since 1937, formerly remaining part of Syria, the Alexandra Sanjak came under the joint control of France and Turkey. In June 1939, it was annexed by Turkey. Syria has not recognized this annexation. Western Armenia recalls that Hatay, before being considered a territory of Syria, was previously part of Cilician Armenian Kingdom. For Armenians, the province of Hatay has a symbolic meaning since Mount Musa is located there, where the heroic of self-defense of Armenians took place in July-September 1915. The Hassan K fortress in the Batman province of Western Armenia, which was closed in 2012 due to the work of Regional Administration for Culture and Tourism, has been reopened to visitors. The works of the first stage along the route of historical settlement of Hassan K have been completed. Thanks to the work done, local and foreign tourists will be visit the Hassan K fortress, will be able to travel around the territory with ease and comfort. According to relevant sources, restoration work has also begun in Buyuk Sarai structure, located in the Hassan Cave Fortress. The relationship between Arabs and Armenians is one of the few topics studied in the works of the study of the genocide of Armenian people. Emre Jan Dagiloglu, a graduate student of the Department of History of Stanford University, combines academic research in this field with his book The Year of Arabs in 1915. Thus, Dagiloglu refers to the relation between Arabs and Armenians in 1915 and after that. We talked with him about the relation of Arabs with the Armenians and a book The Year of the Arabs in 1915. Read the full material on our official website. The Fresno branch of University of California has published an English collection of three short stories by the famous writer of Western Armenia, Zabel Yesayan. The collection contains three not very well-known short stories by Yesayan. The story is well, and it's enough, written in 1911 in Constantinople, and Meliha Nuri Khani, written in 1928 in Paris. 
According to the website, these works have one common theme and tell about Armenian and Turkish women who struggle with unfair social, political and cultural norms. Yesen's works shed light on Turkish society and Turkish-Armenian relations during the decisive period of Ottoman Empire, marked by wars, defeats, territorial losses and genocide against the Armenian people. Zapel Yesen was born in 1878 in Constantinople. She was engaged in literary and social activities. As part of the international delegation created after the massacre of Armenians in Adana, the writer went to Cilicia in 1909. Zabel Yesayan was the only woman included in the list of intellectuals whom the Young Tour government planned to arrest on April 24, 1915. But she managed to avoid a prison sentence and move to Europe. Epidemic explodes due to various surprises of 2020. Armenian schools in the four corners of the world are facing unusual openings today. Most of the schools are trying to conduct the educational process online. Consequently and forcibly the attention of educational figures is first on various interesting internet pages that find a means to intensify the situation from time to time. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia continues its mission to preserve the Armenian identity and cognition of homeland. The kind of assessment of our work is the messages you receive. Over the years, our TV company has sought to provide proper information to keep in touch with our compatriots scattered around the world and to present our homeland. In order to bring this difficult world to a new level, we need the support of all of us. The state television company of Western Armenia is next to each of you and continues continues to be the outstanding voice of our homeland. Together we can do more. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song, Yerevan Bache Marel. <laughs> Ni 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 jan jan The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.